and Caesar Boger and the chip. It all plays a part of the beast. It all plays a part of the Antichrist. You understand? I'm not going back and forth with it. I don't care for it. I believe it all plays a role in the end time prophecy. We have to go into telling a brother not to get a chip. No, Leviticus 19:28 tells you what you're not supposed to put no cuttings in your flesh. So it's common sense not to put something in your damn right arm or your forehead. Think about it. It's common sense. That's in the Levitical law. So do I have to tell somebody to not get a chip implanted in their skin? So do I have to tell somebody to not get a chip implanted in their skin? So do I have to tell somebody to not get a chip implanted in their skin? No, the scriptures already tell you that. Common sense. Leave me alone about that. I'm not going back and forth with niggas about that. I'm out here trying to take niggas off the dope needle. Trying to turn niggas into brothers. Trying to turn whores into sisters, man. Y'all worried about all this other stuff, man. It's a bigger picture out here. Stop being a sucker, man. Use righteous judgment, not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. Use righteous judgment, not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. Righteous judgment, not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. Use righteous judgment, not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. But the mark of the beast is not just a microchip. The microchip is part of this system like anything else. It's part of the system. Like a credit card or, or a cell phone or anything else. Anything else that can be a tracking device. That's part of this system, but it's not the mark of the beast. We worship Yahweh. Can you spell that? Yes. You, you could use the, uh, the 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 acronym Y um, H W H. Y H W H. Yahweh. And then Yahweh Shai. It'll be the same thing, which at the end of it be S H I, and that's who the world ignorantly calls as Jesus Christ. Not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. So, the 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 acronym Y. Um, H W H. Not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. And then Yahweh Shai. It'll be the same thing, which at the end of it be S H I. And then Yahweh Shai. It'll be the same thing, which at the end of it be S H I. And not hate speech. YouTube should ban y'all simple niggas. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Aquadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, love, acquirement, that is peace to the elect. Shalom. I want to go back on Chief Ephraim. <laughs> okay. Chief Ephraim, uh, I'm doing a response off the um, brother that Chief Ephraim kind of going back and forth with GMS South Carolina. Okay. Um, his, his uh, title is Mark of the Beast, Chief Ephraim's Wicked Answer. And that's exactly what that was. That wasn't even an answer. That was teetling between the ropes or, or on the other side of the fence. Okay? See, this guy, these these uh, Israelites on uh, are nothing but Christians on steroids, man. That's all they are, man. They're Christians on steroids. They're all about the good words and the fair speeches, man. They're not to tell you the hardships that is coming. They're just telling you, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. They should know Leviticus 19. Okay? You got Israelites today. He's talking about common sense. There's Israelites today don't have enough common sense to accept the mark of the beast as the microchip. And this guy is one of them. Okay? But he learned from his teacher. Okay? I mean, you can't blame him in a sense. His teacher taught him this. Okay? These guys are the same wicked Pharisees back trying to take the miracles away from the Most High, man, and his son. Okay? Ezekiel 3 and 17, I'll get it at in a second. Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Warning for what? You go, from, from, from the prophecies. He's talking about the microchip. Don't worry about it. Leviticus 1948. No, they shouldn't worry about that. They should know. It's already common sense. This is what the guy said. Then the guy goes on to say, Chief Salaki, the chief from, he goes on to say he's trying to take the uh, uh, take niggas off the dope needle. He's comparing the mark of the beast to the dope needle. This is what this guy is doing. If these are a form of semantics, I don't know what it is. But he said he's trying to take niggas off the dope needle. 
as we we always say, you know, as we always say, is about the elect the elect giving the increase. But he's saying uh, he's trying to take niggas off the dope needle. Okay, this is what this guy said. This is what the chief said. Okay, well, let's see what the scriptures say. Okay, you tell these guys all all the talking and all the rambling and yelling. They do not go into the scriptures. Okay, um. And let's say Zabak will, but Zabak just don't agree, you know. It says, for this cause, God, Yahweh, gave them up unto a vile affection. Let's go to, um, let's go to 25, okay. Romans 125, okay. It says, who changed the truth of Yahweh to a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, okay. So, a lot of you jigs think it's just talking about the white man, because this is what you talk about all the time, the white man. I'm here as defending the, the gospel, okay, the truth, to tell you, uh, hey, the white man, the so-called white man uh, is going to get what he gets. But guess what? A lot of you guys, a lot of you jakes, okay, you Israelites, this is what the Bible's talking to, man, okay? What do you think? Who do you think Paul was talking to? Who do you think Yahweh was speaking to, man? Okay, this is talking about a lot of you guys. Okay, we already know what Esau does, but who changed the truth into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? You guys are talking about the mark of the beast is not the microchip, and it's part of, now it's part of the system of the, look, it says mark of the beast, not marks. So it's not part. It is the mark of the beast. Okay, which the other parts roll with it the image of the beast, but the mark of the beast is the microchip, and that's the only mark of the beast, okay? That's what we're pushing. That's the only mark of the beast, okay? So the chief goes on to say um, we should have common sense uh, to know what the mark of the beast is and all and so forth. But you know what? And so forth. But you know that at this stage of the game, we're coming to a time where your faith will be tested. Okay? So, when Zabak says, well, it's not the mark of the beast. It's only part of the system. What happens when you're that goddamn hungry or you have a problem, you can't get medical insurance or whatever the case is because you don't have that chip? You're going to remember the Zabak saying and Chief Ephraim saying, oh, it's not the mark of the beast. Well, maybe we're under grace. We've had cuttings in our flesh. Think about it. This is what people will say. People, your mind will start bugging out and you'll start making excuses. And the one thing that somebody will hear in the back of their mind is that this is not the mark of the beast. Don't worry about it. It don't take much to convince you. And all and a lot of these women that follow this, they're not going to believe that in that day anyway, man. You know? It's a possibility. I can't say all of them. But the majority... Of you are just talking and you you're just entertained. Okay, this is Isaiah 30 and 10. Uh, let's go to let me go to 30 and 9. Okay, this explains these guys all the way down from uh, straight up. Okay, that this is a rebellious people, lying children. That's what this guy is doing. He's lying about the mark of the beast. Oh, it ain't the mark of the beast. Uh, we're trying to take our brothers off the dope needle. The only one's going to take your brothers off the dope needle is the Most High himself. Okay? You can't do a damn thing. That's the arrogance of these wicked Pharisees that believe that they can work the miracles and the Most High who sent his son Yahweh couldn't. These guys are back again, man. Okay? They, these guys aren't about uh, reaching the elect. They're about reaching everybody that can fill their pockets and line them with dollars. And you women, you women are following uh, the, this group, and that's on you. But we're here to tell you that a lot of you women are taken by this because you're about unity. Okay, you're about this, the, this Christian doctrine. A lot of you women came out the Christian church, and all these guys did is pumped, injected it with steroids, man. Okay, they gave you a little bit of the truth, which is true, but they shot steroids in it, man, and they're, and they're doing the same thing the church do, just out on the corner, man. It's the same thing, you know. I'm surprised they ain't got a bucket passing it around, man. 
a, a plate. But that's all right. They got the ATMs. Anyway, that <laughs> that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Okay, who's this talking about, man? Is this talking about the white man? Or is this talking about our people, man? Okay? Israelites. It says, would say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy deceits. See, the problem is, you guys want to call us treacherous. We're treacherous for correcting you. We're treacherous prophets for correcting you. Now we're off. So who's correcting you, man? Who's telling you that when you're when you're going off? They want to continue in their wickedness. And if they're supposed to set up an example of Apostle Paul, Yahweh shall let's say that and the prophets and Apostle Paul, why aren't they doing what Apostle Paul did, man? Why aren't they going to other Israelites that know that they're Israelites in these doctrines and correct them? They'll leave GOCC alone. This guy calls uh, this guy um, divine, divine Prospect. He says he's a brother. That's a scholar. These are prophecy deceits. He's telling you to follow a prophet that says Esau can make it. That says our women should uh, be with other heathens, or so-called. Okay? This guy is trying to flush our so-called heritage down the toilet. This is what Divine Prospect does. Divine Prospect says Esau is not even, uh, the white man is not even Esau. But, uh, what's his name? Chief Ephraim says that that's his brother on a scholarly level. That's what he said, on a scholarly level. It's unreal and unbelievable, man. But that's, that's these guys. Okay, now you got to be careful with using Leviticus 19.48 for the mark of the beast. Okay, let's read it. Leviticus 19, Salak is 19.28. It says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Now you have other Israelites who've made this a doctrine and said, no, it's not talking about tattoos. It's talking about for the dead. When you know the history of tattoos was for the dead. You'll see people put pictures of their grandmother and their uncles and their sons and daughters, tattoo them to their back and their arm. They'll tattoo the, the dead white Jesus, you know. <laughs> Everything you would print on you eventually will die, so it is still is for the dead. Even you. But this is a stumbling block because you, you'll have people say, hey, you, you know, it's talking about putting uh, cutters in their flesh for the dead. That has nothing to do with the mark of the beast. This is idiotic, okay? This is an idiotic statement to try to link this scripture with the mark of the beast, man, okay? This scripture has no, it's a totally different prophecy, okay? In fact, the mark of the beast is a prophecy. This is a commandment. This is a law. You guys, you ain't got it together, man. You're just good speakers, okay? Women love good speakers. Women love inspiration. But you won't tell them the hardships of the Bible. You'll tell them the smooth things. Okay? So those dollars can keep flowing, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.